Hello, this is Steven, aka Butch Boss. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about all the things I wish I knew before I moved to Chicago. So if you guys saw my last video about Chicago, I've lived here for about three years now. I moved here from the Cleveland, Ohio area most recently, and that's where I grew up. I had an idea in my head of what it would be like to live here, but there's definitely some things that I did not think about, and this is my chance to let you guys know. So if you're thinking about moving there, you can actually be prepared for these, because there's been a few times where I've been feeling real foolish. So first off, if you're walking down the street, do not acknowledge a single person. Don't smile at them, don't look at them, just keep walking. Keep going on your way. If you make eye contact, it doesn't matter. You're not special, it just happened. Because no one really looks at things in terms of an actual relationship with people. Just not something you do. That's a big city thing in general. If you're not from a big city and you move to one and you think that you're supposed to acknowledge everyone, you're not. You're gonna look real goofy if you're walking down the street and someone looks at you and you say, Oh, hey, how you doing? They're gonna just keep walking right past you. They're not gonna give you the time of day. And it's uh, it's something you gotta get used to. I sure as hell did. If you're moving to Chicago and you don't have a significant other or you don't have a roommate or anything, yeah, you should probably think twice about it. It's not the worst idea in the world. I've managed to make it work. It definitely gets a little stressful sometimes because when I first moved here, I remember saying to my realtor, all right, here's my price range and here's the neighborhood I want to live in. And when he saw my list, he's like, so, uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of options here. I'll show you the handful that you can afford. It's not the best feeling when you, when someone tells you that it's the truth. It is kind of expensive to live in this city, although as I've said before, I think it's totally worth it. It's just something to keep in mind when you're actually looking to get a place. For real though, you save so much money when you have someone to split the rent. So here's another one. I'm a huge sports fan and I'm a huge Cleveland sports fan and Cleveland sports fans, we really have no mercy on anyone else. So when I came to Chicago, I thought in my head that if I was by the Cubs stadium, that if I wore a Cleveland Indians hat, that someone would freak out, but they don't. I kind of wish I knew that it's really not a big deal. I was all like freaked out and, and paranoid and stressed out that I would not be accepted. But I literally went to a Cubs game wearing a Cleveland Indians hat after that Cubs World Series. And honestly, maybe part of it's just that we lost to the Cubs, so they just there's no reason to really be mad or anything. But I was really shocked. Like no one was mean to me. Cubs fans were all pleasantly nice. Although I wish that I was prepared for how annoying it is to meet someone who was a Cubs fan who just became a Cubs fan when they moved to Chicago. I don't understand the mentality that just because you move somewhere doesn't mean you also have to become a sports fan of that place, but everyone's a little different, I guess, but I don't understand it. I also wish that I understood that the job market in Chicago is all based around who you know. You can send out as many resumes as you want, but ultimately, you're gonna get a job if you know someone. And it's super helpful to find an in and definitely be active, as active as you possibly can. Go to meetups, go to whatever industry that you're in, definitely go to it because when you meet people, they are always able to offer you something. And not to say like, go ahead and use people, because I'm not saying that you should go ahead and use people, but be realistic to the fact that there's something valuable to be gained by like every person that you meet and it's something that I wish I took advantage of more and I'm learning to do it more and more as time goes on now that I've been here. I also wish I would have prepared myself for how good deep dish pizza actually is because now I'm just completely hooked and maybe had I prepared for it differently that I wouldn't be so hooked because man it's so good but every time you eat it uh, it's a complete disaster so that's another point that I wanted to make is I wish that I knew that if you eat four slices of deep dish pizza, that it's going to destroy your day and possibly the day after. <laughs> True story, when I was looking for apartments when I first moved to Chicago, I got deep dish pizza with my mom and it completely destroyed my stomach to the point where I was actually worried because I was, I was going into these apartments and I kept having to say to my realtor like, hey man, I'm gonna have to use the restroom again. <laughs> it got like real, real bad. So be careful. I'd say like two slices of deep dish is probably ideal. Anything more than that, you're really pushing your luck. I also wish I would have been prepared for just how cold it is here. Like I knew it was gonna be cold because everyone talks about it, but there are just certain days we are like, why? I also kind of wish that I knew before I moved here just how good the fashion sense is in Chicago because coming from some of the last places I had lived in, people just didn't give a fuck about what they wore, just in general. So when I came here, I was like, wow, people are really dressed nicely here. This is the nicest dressed people that I've seen in a while. And I wish I would have kind of prepared for myself by maybe going on a shopping spree or something. I wish I would have known that the L system has very specific things that you need to do, otherwise you look like a complete dumbass. Luckily, I've never run into any issues with the L. I tend to go in at the right times and not look dumb, but there's a few things that are confusing when it says that 
you're on the brown line, but it's also the orange line. That can be kind of confusing sometimes. And there's been some high anxiety moments of me not knowing if it was going to go around the loop or if I was going straight to the airport. So that's one of those things that I wish I would have known so that I didn't have such anxiety filled trips heading to the merch mart. I also wish I would have known that the loop in Chicago is really not that fun. It's just a bunch of really tall buildings and businesses but I really actually want to hang out in the loop. When I first moved to Chicago, I thought, I gotta be in the loop, I gotta be in the loop. But you really don't. If anything, I wish I could avoid it because it's really not that fascinating. It's just really expensive and really crowded. Like the actual neighborhoods I think are way cooler, personally. I also wish I would have known that Wicker Park is a really, really cool neighborhood. When I first moved to Chicago, I just thought you had to live somewhere in like in Lincoln Park or by Wrigley Field or something. But there's a lot of cooler stuff out in the Wicker Park area that's really, really awesome. And if I was gonna move somewhere else in the city, I would totally consider moving into that area because I really, really like it a lot. It has really awesome bars and just a really cool nightlife and just a lot of real hipster Stuff going on. I also wish I would have known that it's actually really hard to make friends when you first move to Chicago that are actual genuine friends. The kind of culture that breeds itself in this city is a bunch of very, very motivated people who are all on different missions. So sometimes it's kind of hard to, to find anyone who actually stay in your life for a while. So you gotta get used to people coming in and out of your life. And I don't think I was quite prepared for that as much as I wish I would have been. But at the same time, I think it's something that you get used to after a while, and it's not something that bothers me too, too much anymore. So I think I wish I would have just better prepared myself for it, because that's just the nature of living in big cities in general, and it's just the nature of what it's like in Chicago. By that same token, stay away from the people who suck and you don't like spending time with, because you totally can do that. And just don't waste your time with them, make some new friends, it's not a big deal. There's so many more things that I could say in this video, but at the end of the day, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And if I come up with some more, maybe I'll make another video about it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I release at least one video a week. You can also find me on social media. My Instagram and Twitter are at Stephen Russell B. And that's Stephen with a V. None of that PH trash. I also have a podcast called the Everything Must Go podcast that I do with my friend Brandon. We release at least one episode a week on that. I will see you guys in the next video. This is Steven, aka Butch Boss. Same guy, different day. Signing out.